The following video contains strong sexual content and is rated M for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Our advice? Don't get caught. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play More Legend Shoot Larry. Quick disclaimer, as always before the start of the video, it is not for anyone under the age of 18. You saw the view discussion is advised at the start of this. I'm not going to say anything more on that. So what my plan is, this is part 18. This is going to have one ending. Part 19 will have the second ending. Part 20 will have the final ending. And what we're going to do up in between all that is basically go around and get as much of the extras as we possibly can uh, as well as me going off screen in between videos and just gaining extra money here and there i've gone off screen i've gained about to up to about 80 dollars um so right now we've got probably got a decent amount to do what we need to do um we've just uh whipped out against luba um so i'm just gonna go i'm gonna do a whole entire lap and try and get as much as I can in as little time as possible so then we can go do the first part of Swingles. If it's about 20 minutes long and I, and I get to the end, then it'll be 20 minutes. If it's 25, it's 25. If it's more than that, it'll be more than that. I already know what, what I'm going to do last, but I haven't decided which order I'm going to do it in first of all. Um, I might just get the, the least favourite um, done first. So we need to get the makeup kit. So obviously, uh, we can obviously get, I think we've gone everywhere where we can get money and stuff like that. Um, anywhere that I go to now doesn't seem to be giving me secret tokens really anymore, um, which is a shame. A secret token. Maybe not. Secret token. Mm. Mm. So we're going to go around to each place and try and... I think some places we've bought everything. Some places we don't need to go to. Like the library, we don't need to go to. Uh, we don't need to go to the dorms, I don't think. So we have to go back to Umma anyway, and uh, we're going to go back by, you know, doing this in the right order. So you know what? That is Harriet, and it looks nothing like the game counterpart. So here we, I think we can get the, I think these are extras as well. Um, let's get a couple of these. So one game I am going to do, um, again, is Gun, um, and I'm probably going to start that as well, and do that as well, uh, because I'm going to do that with a, a, a face cam, same as this. Hey. In Germany, there are very many parks and museums dedicated to Big Stroker and his enormous penis. And there are very many cinema festivals and statues in his honor. And all of the statues accurately depict his erection. And it is not unusual for a man to stop and put his hand around its finely crafted penis to marvel at his girth. 
And it's so not dirty. at all considered so homosexual. Dirty. Am I dead, Angel? Because this must be heaven. Let's get one thing straight. I'm not. I hold a tight grip on my wiener! <laughs> wiener is still champion! You sure keep a clean toilet at this toilet. Party! Ah-hoo! Please, I cannot you keep had to come here, didn't you? Right. We've got what we need there. We just need one more place, and then we need to go and talk to Uma and get this party rolling on the Swingles final. I'm going to have uh, three different save points, so then I'm going to save it after each time I do it, after each ending. Everything is everything. Oh, better return this to its rightful owner, the American economy. <laughs> Go, 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 That go, reminds go. me. I've got to get over to the Plaid Mart later and settle the score with that video game. But Whatever happened to good old pointing sandwich. and clicking? I bought you every day for a sandwich for the last two weeks, and you still haven't paid me back. Go to back in my day, ass, sixteen colors was enough. How about them local sports teams? This is Get out of here, would ya? Makes your art projects look much better. I'm spent. Okay, so we now need to go um, to uh, back to campus and talk to Uma and get this uh, rolling with the next part of the game. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it on save 1, 2 and 3. Save 3 is going to be the first ending. Save 2 is going to be the second ending. And save 1 is going to be the final ending. As I said, I know what I'm going to do for the final ending. I've got that one already thought about because I think it's probably the most... I think it's the most... the, the best ending in my opinion. Um, the reason why I say it's the best ending is because... It's the best ending I think for Larry. Even though the other endings are are good, uh, one being my least favourite, um, the other two are kind of like, I like them both, uh, but one's not the ending I'm going to finish with. Do not use oil products with your latex sex toys. You that means oil-based lubricants, massage oils, cottonseed oil, olive oil, soy oil, coconut oil, sunflower oil, canola oil, ground nut oil, refined vegetable oil, hydrogenated refined vegetable oil, anything containing oil. Please use only water-based lubricants with latex. A secret token! <laughs> Walnut Logs Chesty Turbo was one of the most famous rock groupies of the 60s and 70s. <laughs> Biff Barf, what a dickhead. Thank you for the most disgusting To school I say, life. fuck off. I'm gonna take it easy today, dude. <laughs> you dick! I almost beat my record! <laughs> so in order to make sure that we don't fuck this up and it doesn't crash because it probably will let's face it it probably will crash 
We're going to save it at every point. Let's have a look quickly. 53 out of 105. We really need to buy. I think it also includes the the extras, like the uh, the really naughty ones as well. Let's do this final um then, shall we? Hey, conk piece. You got those tokens of affection? Great. Now get in line over there. We're about to make the announcement. Hey, how's everybody doing out there? Who out there loves TV? And who out there loves reality dating shows? Now, who out there loves swingles? Fair enough. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for. After much deliberation, Swingles has narrowed it down to one very lucky student. And here with me to make that announcement, I have a very special guest, Walnut Log Community College's own Dean Abrahamson. Actually, it's uh, Assistant Dean Abramson, but th that, that's due to change very shortly. I, I assure you. Hey, Abramson! Fuck you! Oh, um, <laughs> well, the spring break is just around the corner, and our students get to feeling their oats just uh, around this time. Hey, fat ass! I fucked your wife last night! Uh, you know, what do you say? We skip all the fanfare and get right to the envelope. Assistant Dean Abramson. Mary Lovage! There must be some mistake. I will not have Larry Lovage representing this school. You hear me, Lovage? I know you're watching. Uh, uh, oh. Good job, Larry. Now, we've already got our crew down at Fat Sam's Titty City, so head down there ASAP. Oh, man. Uh, can I get a ride with you guys? No. Right. I don't think we need to worry about doing that cutscene again. Hey everybody, welcome to yet another episode of Swingles. And we're here at Fat Sam's Titty City, taping our Swingles Swingin' Back to School special in the anal bead capital of the world, Walnut Log. Meet Larry. Larry's 25 and a seventh year junior from Parts Unknown. He's an aspiring concrete form dismantler who says the first thing he notices in a girl are her boobies. And introducing our girls, Swingle number one is Barbara Jo. She's a 21 year old junior from Airhead, California, majoring in home economics. She likes puppy dogs, sundaes, and ice cream. She doesn't like mean people. Swingle number two is Susie. She's a 22 year old automotive major from Roadkill, New Jersey. Her turn ons are mags, stack amps, and pain. Her turn offs are pussies, nerds, and squares. And finally, swingle number three is Morgan. She's a 21-year-old senior from Boo Berry, Delaware, majoring in popular cultural studies. Her hobbies include collecting boxes of discontinued cereal and memorabilia related to the Zapped film series. Now we're going to join the friendly foursome as they get their evening started with a little drink and polite conversation. It's the big night, the night you're on the air with three... Luscious ladies, show them what you've got, Tiger. Sorry to keep you waiting, ladies. So, uh, have you guys had a chance to get acquainted yet, huh? I'm bored. I'm scared. I really do not want to be here. Well, if you like, we can try for the VIP room, but I don't think there's room for the three of us and the camera crew, do you? <laughs> hey, I know what we need. How about a few cocktails to take the edge off? Larry, don't get me wrong. I'm happy to be here, but don't you think this is a tad weird taking us to a strip bar on a date? Why? You uptight? I'm not uptight. I'm uptight. That's not what I heard. Save some energy for later, babes. One of you is gonna need it. Finally, some freaking service. I have a few coupons here from the last couple issues of Red Light. Now, uh, one of them is expired, but uh, Linus said... Larry, 
that's uh, sweet of you, but I'll pay for them. Okay! But that's not gonna earn you any special points. I gotta remain impartial until after the questions start. Well, darn for me. Why don't we start with our first question? On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate yourself at whoopee? Nine. Ten. Larry, what are you talking about? Can I change my answer? Sure, why not? Go for it. Twenty-three! Excellent. Okay, then. Next question. Where is the strangest place you've ever slapped together a flesh session? Larry, are you talking about sex? Uh, yes. Inside one of the guard towers at the Photon Laser Tag Arena. Be on a dumpster at the last Iggy Pop concert. Assistant Dean Abramson's private bathroom. But you guys have to keep that a secret. Great! Wow! Oh, this is going way better than I thought. All right, next question. If you were living in a magical fantasy universe ruled by an ancient and wise dragon with whom you were very much in love and had a second dragon stole you away from the first dragon and told you that the only way you could return to the first dragon was to have sex with him, would you betray the first dragon's love? Or would you remain faithful even if it meant never seeing him again? And if so... Oh my God, that was a bullshit. Huh? All right now. Oh, I failed Stop this. Me. Yes and no interesting barbara joe what's a dragon i'm sorry that question's just weird can we skip to the next one man you are uptight <laughs> because i wouldn't have sex with a dragon you'd sit there and rot in some cave forever just so you wouldn't have to give a dragon a blowjob i like dragons okay sure fine under those circumstances i would do it man what a sicko what you fucking hypocrite. I don't know about you, sweetie, but I ain't chugging dragon cock for no man, no how. You bitch! Ladies, a toast. As the only male contestant on this crappy reality dating show, I bear an enormous responsibility. If it were up to me, I would keep all three of you. But rules are rules, so the ugliest one's got to go. But before that happens, I want to toast you guys and let you know that this has been, without a doubt, the best date of my entire life. Cheers! Larry, come on, again. We're syndicated. We're not on cable. Let's cut down on the potty mouth a little bit, shall we? I've never failed that before. I've never, ever, ever, ever failed that. Sorry to keep you waiting, ladies. So, uh, have you guys had a chance to get acquainted yet, huh? I'm bored. I'm scared. I really do not want to be here. Well, if you like, we can try for the VIP room, but I don't think there's room for the three of us and the camera crew, do you? <laughs> hey, I know what we need. How about a few cocktails to take the edge off? Larry, don't get me wrong. I'm happy to be here, but don't you think this is a tad weird taking us to a strip bar on a date? Why? You uptight? I'm not uptight. I'm uptight. That's not what I heard. Save some energy for later, babes. One of you is gonna need it. Ah, perfect. Hey, how you doing? Listen, uh, I, I have two two-for-one coupons for these. Now, uh, <clears throat> one of them is expired, but uh, Linus said... Larry, that's uh, sweet of you, but I'll pay for them. Okay! But that's not gonna earn you any special points. I gotta remain impartial until after the questions start. Well, darn for me. Why don't we start with our first question? On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate yourself at whoopee? Nine. Ten. Larry, what are you talking about? Can I change my answer? Sure, why not? Go for it. Twenty-three! Excellent. Okay, then. Next question. Where is the strangest place you've ever juggled the old canoe? Larry, are you talking about sex? Uh, yes. Inside one of the guard towers at the Photon Laser Tag Arena. Be on a dumpster at the last Diggy Pop concert. Assistant Dean Abramson's private bathroom. But you guys have to keep that a secret. Great! Wow! Oh, this is going way better than I thought. All right, next question. 
If you were living in a magical fantasy universe ruled by an ancient and wise dragon with whom you were very much in love, and had a second dragon stole you away from the first dragon and told you that the only way you could return to the first dragon was to have sex with him, would you betray the first dragon's love? Or would you remain faithful even if it meant never seeing him again? And if so, would you be angry if you found out later that the dragon was lying to you? Who's first? Yes. And no. Interesting. Barbara Jo. What's a dragon? I'm sorry, that question's just weird. Can we skip to the next one? Man, you are uptight. <laughs> because I wouldn't have sex with a dragon. You'd sit there and rot in some cave forever just so you wouldn't have to give a dragon a blowjob? I like dragons. Okay, sure, fine. Under those circumstances, I would do it. Man, what a sicko. What? You fucking hypocrite. I don't know about you, sweetie. But I ain't chugging dragon cock for no man, no how. You bitch! Ladies, a toast. Look, I just want you guys to know that if it were up to me, and I mean this sincerely, I would keep all three of you. But rules are rules. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut one of you loose before we advance to the next round of the date. I want to tell the Oh my god! Story. Before you leave, I this is getting me on and a fucking joke, and I'm you in the really future. not and happy. I tell each of you that this right at the end, the I fuck up. I, I lose all my fuck. Entire life. Thank you. Good night. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, I'm sorry. I was actually getting a table dance. Uh, all right, uh, everyone. We're gonna need to get that again. Larry, come on, again. We're syndicated, we're not on cable. Let's cut down on the potty mouth a little bit, shall we? This is going on too long now. Sorry to keep you waiting, ladies. So, uh, have you guys had a chance to get acquainted yet, huh? I'm bored. I'm scared. I really do not want to be here. Well, if you like, we can try for the VIP room, but I don't think there's room for the three of us and the camera crew, do you? <laughs> hey, I know what we need. How about a few cocktails to take the edge off? Larry, don't get me wrong. I'm happy to be here, but don't you think this is a tad weird taking us to a strip bar on a date? Why? You uptight? I'm not uptight. I'm uptight. That's not what I heard. Save some energy for later, babes. One of you is gonna need it. Ah, perfect. Hey, how you doing? Listen, uh, I, I have two two-for-one coupons for these. Now, uh, one of them is expired, but uh, Linus said... Larry, that's uh, sweet of you, but I'll pay for them. Okay! But that's not gonna earn you any special points. I gotta remain impartial until after the questions start. Well, darn for me. Why don't we start with our first question? On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate yourself at whoopee? Nine. Ten. Larry, what are you talking about? Can I change my answer? Sure, why not? Go for it. Twenty-three! Excellent. Okay then, next question. Where is the strangest place you've ever juggled the old canoe? Larry, are you talking about sex? Uh, yes. Inside one of the guard towers at the Photon Laser Tag Arena. Being a dumpster at the last Diggy Pop concert. Assistant Dean Abramson's private bathroom. But you guys have to keep that a secret. Great! Wow! Oh, this is going way better than I thought. All right, next question. If you were magically transported to a mystical <laughs> fantasy universe and had to make Whoopi with a dragon in order to save the human race, would you do it? And if so, would you be angry if you found out later that the dragon was lying to you? All right now, one at a time, ladies. Yes and no. Hmm, I'll put that one in my fantasy file. Barbara Jo? What's a dragon? I'm sorry, that question's just weird. Can we skip to the next one? Man, you are uptight. <laughs> because I wouldn't have sex with a dragon. You'd sit there and rot in some cave forever just so you wouldn't have to give a dragon a blowjob? I like dragons. Okay, sure, fine. Under those circumstances, I would do it. Man, what a sicko. What? You fucking hypocrite. I don't know about you, sweetie. But I ain't chugging dragon cock for no man, no how. You bitch!
Ladies, a toast. Look, I just want you guys to know that if it were up to me, and I mean this sincerely, I would keep all three of you. But rules are rules. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut one of you loose before we advance to the next round of the date. But before that happens, I want to toast you guys and let you know that this has been, without a doubt, the best date of my entire oh, life. Oh, God. Cheers. And that's a wrap. Okay, everybody, let's move on. Places and five, four, three. Jesus. All right, swingers. And now it's time to enter our second round of swingles. And you know what that means. Somebody's got to go. Who will it be? Susie, Morgan, or Barbara Joe? So I've got to eliminate someone. And Morgan, I'm sorry. Oh, well, it looks like Morgan is the lucky loser. Run before he reconsiders, honey. Is the show going to pay me back for those drinks? Yeah, that's what I figured. Now we'll continue our evening at the power station where we're having an underwear dance party. Well, you guys are certainly stooping to new lows with every episode, aren't you? Shut up, bitch! You're almost there. Only one more challenge to go, and then you're off to do a private dance called the Horizontal Mambo with the gorgeous babe of your choice. Left down button, button down right, off right, right, left, left button, right, left, left button, down left, up, up button, left down. Fuck this, I can't be arsed with that. It's just not bother doing it. I'm not gonna get this done tonight. It's late and I'm getting very tired. I'm just That's probably why I'm not I'm not doing well. And now Larry will have to make his final decision. Who's it gonna be? Sorry, Barbara Joe. That's the way love goes. My feet hurt. I think my feet hurt from dancing. I like dancing. Well, that's all from Swingles. We're packing up the van and leaving this crap hole, and who knows, viewers, maybe we'll be swinging on through whatever town you live in. You think our town's a crap hole? You're a crap hole! Uh, guys, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh. That was all right. After this, I'm taking you on the road with me. You're going to be my chick. Sure thing, baby. You call me master, you sniveling pig. Yes, Master, yes! Yeah, that's the way you like it, bitch. Oh, good old Larry. Miss Yasmin, I, I don't know how to thank you. Yesterday was the greatest day of my life. And you know, I think I've turned over a new leaf. I might even go to all my classes tomorrow. There's no class tomorrow, Larry. It's spring break. Spring, spring break? break. Oh, 
Uncle Larry, what are you doing here? Come on, dudester, let's party! Yes, Larry, a party! Hey, nephew, check this one out! Nice, huh? Yeah, sure thing, Uncle Larry. But where's Assistant Dean Abramson? How's he letting this happen? Don't worry, Larry, I took care of that. Lovitch, I know you're behind this! I'm gonna get you for this, Lovitch! And when I do, spring break is cancelled! You hear me, Lovitch? Cancelled! <laughs> hey, everybody! What do you say? Let's party! And that's it. I don't think we continue after this, but we'll have to wait and see. guys so i'm sorry about that it crashed but that's it that's going to be the end of that one that's the first of three endings i'll see you all next time with ending excuse me number two see you soon